How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we are going to take a look at if the Isaria Pro Compact that you can add to all your base game tractors is needed here to be able to get a good environmental score. We took a look at this in one of our live streams over on our competition map that I showed that you could actually change your nitrogen reference value from inside your tractor. Once you get in there and you get your equipment hooked up, you can actually hit your left trigger and then be able to change it um, to go through and apply nitrogen before, but I want to know if this affects your environmental score. As you can see right here in field number 56, our environmental score is 53 and our nitrogen isn't very good. You can see right here, it's at zero on all the fields we own. So field number 56 here, we're going to use no sensor. And then we're going to come over here to field number 54 and we're actually going to use a sensor. Then we're going to put the crops down and then we're going to let them come all the way to full maturity and see what our nitrogen looks like. Now we may have to come back and actually harvest these to be able to get the true value here because I think a lot of times with this, you're not actually going to see that nitrogen score until it's harvested. That way the field and the calculator knows, hey, this is where it's at whenever I harvested and then it's going to give us our score. So we're going to take a look at that. And then up here in field number 30 and 40, we're going to do the same thing, except that we already have seeds in the ground. And then down here in field number 42 and 50, we've actually already got wheat growing. It's in the first growth stage right now. We're going to go ahead and spray this, and we're going to see if we get different environmental scores on all of these. Now, this one right here, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it, but the one that I'm focused on primarily is going to be the nitrogen score. I want to see how far across that bar goes on that very, very top row. All six of our fields are now planted, and as you can see, they are either in the first um, growth stage or they had just been planted right here. Now, if we come down here, we take a look at our soil information. We can see that our bar did not increase here on our environmental score for each one of these, and also our overall environmental score did not increase either. You can see they are all there down at zero on the nitrogen level. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and come across here to nitrogen. You can see these are all where they should be for the nitrogen. What I mean by that is we have some at 200. You can see quite a few of the plots are at 200. Then we come to 180, a bunch more drop off, 160, and then 140. And those are the recommended uh, nitrogen levels for wheat. So whether you're spraying before or after, or even after the crop has already grown, you're getting the same nitrogen level here. So as of right now, it doesn't look like the sensors actually make a difference on applying the fertilizer if you know what crop is going to be in the ground. But I want to check to see if this makes a difference on your environmental score. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and speed up time and take a look at them at harvest time. All right, we are back now. And as you guys can see, all of our fields are harvested here. So what I'm going to do is jump down to our soil map here, and we're going to zoom in on this first field. You can see the very top line right there, that is our nitrogen. If I pull up my environmental score here, you can see the nitrogen is the very top line. But here on this individual field, it's not quite all the way to the top. And it's quite interesting because you come over here to this field, and this one is actually a little bit less on the nitrogen. Now they're almost identical, but it is just a little bit less. This field right here had the sensor on it and this field did not. This was also when we put down the fertilizer before we put the seeds in the ground. So I, uh, I don't really think it makes a big difference. I mean, it's, it's too close to tell, um, but for this test right here, I'm gonna call it dead even. Next, we came up here to this field. This is the one that we had a sensor on and we'd already put the seeds in the ground. So we were going, before they started to grow, we were applying our nitrogen then. As you can see right here, it's actually a little bit lower here on this one than the other two. You come across to this field here and it's about the same as what it was. So this had no sensor on it and it's actually higher than the field that did have it. So once again, I don't think it makes a difference between those two. And then here, this field was after the crops had already started to grow. They were, you know, showing, visibly showing. And you can see just slightly underneath um, perfect here with no sensor. And then the sensor field here, absolutely perfect. So in summary, I feel like based on this test right here, now this is only one test that I've done on three separate fields. If I was gonna do this, you know, for like my day job, I would do it a couple different times. 
and make sure that everything was validated. But for this right here, it looks like you are going to need the sensors on your tractor and you're going to need to wait until after the crops are starting to show in the field. That gave us the absolute best environmental score here. Now, if you're not too worried about that environmental score, you could probably save some cash here and not get those sensors on your tractor and you could do it at any time. Just make sure that if you're doing it before your crop, you have the proper crop selected in your reference um, over there in your help menu. But that's gonna be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you wanna stay up to date on all my future videos here on precision farming, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell too. And while you guys are waiting on those other videos, why don't you go and check out one of these other two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time. This is Driver53, signing off.